What's up, guys? Welcome back to Average Takes. Welcome back. We're in yeah. the car today. <laughs> We're all in different places for the first time in a while. Studio is under, uh, let's if say, you watched last week, you should know. You major should construction. Know. Major, major. Real viewers know. Real viewers know. Real viewers know. I have no idea what we went last week. I'm not going to lie to you. I do not have the sheet in front of me, but all I know is my pick of the week lost. My pick mine of the week lost won. too. Losers. I, mine, mine lost. W. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. Easy. Well, we're going to start easy. you guys off with a banger. Average stakes. This is week two pickums. Don't you guys know it? Don't you guys love it? Um, this one is going to be recorded on Friday. We got a little a little taste of Thursday Night Football. Um, schedule conflicts. The studio been uh, a mess under construction. This will come to you Sunday morning. You, this is your preview into your <laughs> Sunday. I'm going to hit it to you guys bright and early. We're going to start with our first – Fan game of the card 49ers taking on the Vikings in Minnesota. No, no Christian C-Mac. McCaffrey, don't forget. Yep, no Christian McCaffrey. Doesn't matter. Fantasy team is in shambles, just in case you guys cared. Pick up Jordan Mason, guys. If you're listening to the podcast and you're Jordan too Mason, late. you're too, too late. late. You think you're <laughs> too late. If you're listening at this point, Jordan Mason, Jordan Mason is might no be gone. Free agent. If you're playing in a casual <laughs> league, go pick up Jordan Mason. <laughs> yeah, if you're playing in a league with a lot of females who aren't paying attention, they're gonna be like, "Who's Jordan Mason?" Slow mo. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> if about you're doing that. that, you're you're a creep. You're a creep. If you're doing that. You're a creep. A lot of people have work leagues that they they play with. You know, people work at bars. I know people. Creep. You know, no people. I know people. <laughs> I think Shinny's a creep. <laughs> can't talk to a girl. They got cooties still. Not in fantasy football. Not in fantasy football. All right. Well, let's get to the first game. No, Christian McCaffrey was no problem for the 49ers last week. And the Vikings won with Sam Darnold under the rain for the first time in a long time that Sam Darnold has came out and looked halfway decent. 12 for 12 to start the game? I mean, yeah. I mean, what a confidence booster for him. 12 for 12 yeah. to start the game. Name a better start for a guy. I mean, come on. I don't think he can. I don't Fuck think that bullshit. I'm going 49ers, baby. What's the spread? Four and a half. Yeah, take probably. it. Give me that. Four and a half, baby. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. They scored 31 points without ZMC. I mean, I think that's a pretty good game against a, an all right team. You know, the Jets aren't too great, but they're getting uh, uh, there. Uh, <clears throat> the, the Vikings, Vikings did beat the 49ers last year. The Vikings beat the 49ers last year. Not yes. with Sam Darnold, though, right? Vikings right, also turnover. won twenty eight to six. That was an all around game. That wasn't just we got. We got to remember who the Niners are a different breed, buddy. Yeah, the Vikings played the Giants. They played Daniel Jones. Uh, that's it's an impressive right, win. Average six sweep. Then let's do it. Average yeah. sweep. Yeah, exactly. Let's you do knew it. What was nope, gonna nope, happen? Nope, you nope, knew nope, what was gonna nope. happen. So no. Let's see. no. What do you mean? Nope. What do you mean? Nope. No, give me the Vikings home dogs plus four and a half. That's oh, so easy. That's yeah. the easiest pick of the week. Home dogs of the week. Sam Darnold, Jay Jettas. No Jordan Addison either. This team's no gonna come way. in there. No this Jordan Addison. In there and battle, battle that's, tested. You're that's so. That's so. You're bad. This guy's crazy. So bad. I I know ball. You don't know ball, dude. It's gonna be twenty-eight you know ball. to twenty-four game. <laughs> That's so All right, bad. well, Shenny, Shenny's on the Viking side of things. All right, that's the rest fine. of us are that's taking fine. 49ers yeah, minus that's four fine. And a half. Let them take it. Uh, next game, early game, Chargers taking on the Panthers, 10 a.m. in Carolina. Ooh. First home game, dollar ticket. two tickets were $1.50. $1.50 for the Panthers? That's going to be right there. I can go to a game for $5, bud. Holy shit, buddy. Can't do that um, anywhere near here where I live. But five dollars for a game, book me there. Chargers are minus five yeah. point favorites. The over under sitting at 39 and a half. And we didn't talk about the over under in the last game. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. That was 46 and a half. I wouldn't have taken it. 
Just no. being honest. Takers. No. Takers. Okay. Uh, Chargers over under 39 and a half. Uh, Chargers minus, what is it? 230. Money Damn, 230, really? Shit. Minus 230. Oh, wow. money line. I mean, there's a That's tale a of two tapes. Eight. Tale of two tapes, though. You watch the Panthers absolutely get the shit rocked out of them by the right. Saints, who I don't believe the Saints are a good team. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the Chargers are a good team. Chargers came out, battled first half, ended up coming away with the W the second half. Defense looked a lot better than I've ever seen it. Um, run defense, especially, way better than I've ever seen it. Um, I'm going to take the Chargers. Minus five, I think they can win by a touchdown at least. I do not think this Panthers team is great, but you never know. This Chargers team is not as good as a lot of teams in this league. Roster wise, experience wise, team depth wise, but this team has some fight and some heart. And for the first time, I am very excited to be a Chargers fan in a long time. Heck yeah, better than us. Go Bolts, everybody. Um, I got a little stat for you teams to lose by 35 or more points and our underdogs of four plus more points their next game are 50, 18, and two the last 20 years. 15, 19, and two after Sunday. So, um, those are some pretty good numbers that I like. I'm going to actually make this a game of the year, a Shenny special game of the year. Panthers really? plus five. Home dogs is the theme of this week, and I fucking love this one especially. I think this West Coast team traveling to the East Coast, early game, a lot of talk about Harbaugh, how Harbaugh is so good. Uh, the Panthers looked like shit last week, literally awful. They're selling tickets for a dollar – for uh two tickets for a dollar fifty at their home opener. Nobody was gonna be there. Nobody's gonna enjoy it. And the Panthers are just gonna sneak a win out, and everyone's gonna sweep it under the rug. Nobody's even gonna care about it. Wow. Yeah, I saw you, I, I saw your tweet. I knew this was game of the year. Zero interactions. Nice game. Um. Of the... All right. Roman Braden. I'm gonna uh, go. Go ahead, Roman. Go ahead. Go ahead, ahead. Go ahead, Brady. Go ahead Brady. Uh, you want me to go? All right. I'm. Go ahead. I'm gonna say over. Give me the over. Thirty nine. You said thirty nine and a half, right? Yep. Got to score. Yeah, 40. that's. I. I like that. Yeah. I think that's fine. I think each team could. I could see the Chargers maybe going on thirty points and Panthers ten, but I could see like a twenty twenty kind of game. But yeah, give me the over on that. That's funny. I don't like the spread or the over under in this game. Um, Bob hit it on the head. Chargers looked very bad in the beginning of that game. I honestly thought we were going to lose it, but um, Jim Harbaugh is a good coach. And you go into halftime and you talk about it and you come out and you win games just like how he did. So I think I'm going to go Chargers plus 230, you said? 230? Is that what it was? Oh, you're taking a money line? Minus I'm taking a money line because I don't think I don't have enough faith. Bob has a lot of hope in this team, the way he was talking right now. And if I know the Chargers, you don't have hope. So they play down to the level. Carolina could come in and spank us if they wanted to because the Chargers are like that. But I would hope they're not. But I'm just going to take money line and play it safe this game. I'm going Chargers plus 230. Uh, give me the under. Give me the, give me the under. Give me the under. Yeah, if the Panthers are going to somehow win. If this game is more than five scary. points, I think the under is going to hit. Give me the under. What was the under over of last game? 43, I think it was? 42, probably. 42, and they got what? We, we scored 21 points. They got 10. 22 to 10. Didn't it 22 hit? to 10, so that's 32. Yep. Mm. yep. Mm. Matt, that's mm. Give me the under. Mm. Yeah, quick man. Quick, quick man. Away. Quick man. Stay yep. away. Nah. That's fine. That's fine. All right, uh, next game we got right Buccaneers versus the Lions. What a great game. Both of these teams absolutely had a fantastic week one, walking away with Ws. Um, Bucks looked really good. I know they didn't play a great team, but Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield and Mike Evans, chef's kiss. I mean, those guys, that connection, they, they know what they're doing there. Um, Bucks are at the Lions in the dome. Detroit is minus seven and a half 
point favorites. Over under is 51 and a half. Tampa Bay is plus 300 money line. Wow. Yeah. Bombers in the start. Give me the Bucks to cover the seven and a half. That's I crazy love that as well. I yeah, love that that's as well. that's Bucks crazy. Are minus or plus? Plus. They're you said plus. Cover plus. Yeah, cover the plus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's yeah, a crazy one. For, they just casually saw Baker Mayfield throw like four touchdowns and said, Yeah, we'll make him a seven and a half underdog. That's that's wild to me. I mean, I do think the Bucks had some pretty gnarly injuries on their defense. I think they lost a couple starters, so that could factor in this. But seven and a half is a lot of points. Like beating them by two scores. And it's a little bit of a revenge game. They beat them in the playoffs last year. Did they? Yeah. Wow. That's that's weird. They got the Rams played the Lions who played them in the playoffs. And now they got the Bucks who played them. NFL set up the Lions for this oh, yeah. revenge <laughs> Gauntlet. game. Too. Yeah, Gauntlet. revenge games. The script is written, boys. I don't know if you guys know this, but. Script is written. Just yep. lose their first game, so they go on a streak, win streak. So Aaron Rodgers looks like they. <laughs> how did you? How did you see it? How That's did you just my it? thinking. I don't know. I just meant to throw that out there. You well, know? you go to the yeah, darkness like, retreat, darkness retreat, and figure that out. A little drunk thought that. Uh, what? <laughs> the Forty ers had no CMC, and they still still scored thirty one points. And for Aaron Rodgers to go out like that, I mean. Running I feel back, like it's a little scripted, shit. But... running back, don't mean shit. Running back, don't mean shit. That's all that means. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm whatever. an owner. I'm an owner in this situation. Dalvin Cook scored. Thir- oh wait, I don't know if you guys. Okay, you guys are getting this on Sunday. So Dalvin Cook scored three fucking touchdowns in the last game. You can't tell me running backs aren't shit. You can't tell see, me that. See, I was like running back. I was on the. Tra- I was on the train of running backs. Mean shit after Barkley's three touchdowns, and then Jordan Mason did what he did. And now I'm off the train. Like, yeah, running back. Now you're off the train, son. Like they- you're off the train. They don't mean yeah. anything. It's gotta be. Barkley scored be. three running tutties, and I was Barclay like, scored. oh, running backs matter. They but do. They, they do. The Whether it's been been it or not, running backs matter, son. If you can run the ball down somebody's throat, it's a lot in the football game, you know? Zeke ruined it, dude. He Zeke ruined, ruined the running it. back. Zeke right. ruined it. Everybody's Wait. doing the spoon of the cereal in the mouth. Everybody's eating. Running backs matter in this Gotta game, feed them. whether Sammy says it or not. Damn, I think I'm going to go Lions. Minus seven and a half. <laughs> 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 I was waiting. Who has a better running back? Who Lined a open back? minus six and a half, and it went all the way to seven and a half. Lions are getting all the action here. I think the Lions win for sure, but the Bucks definitely cover seven. I think Baker Mayfield looked good enough to where we can know that he scores points. I mean, the Lions defense didn't look that great, so I definitely think this is a high scoring game. What's the over under? Fifty one and a half. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not touching that. Just give me the Buccaneers plus seven or whatever it is. But I, I do know. think the Lions win. All right, all right. Um, next game, we all got our scores in there, right? It's us three and yep. then Shinny. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Second all right. island of the week. Next game, we have the Steelers taking on the Broncos in mile high. Pittsburgh is the favorites, minus two and a half points over under 36 and a half. God damn, this is a, such a shitty rat line, weird line. A horrible line. And the over under 36 and a half. That means we're not scoring a damn fucking point. They don't they don't see much points going back and forth here. They think it to be a 14 to 9 game. Mm-hmm. Ugly. Defense. I mean, you saw last week TJ Watt is an absolute menace. He's just a game changer. He always has been. Crazy how the Falcons the did not Steelers game plan Falcons. at all for him. Didn't game yeah. plan at all. They Didn't game plan at all. No, no extra help. No double teams. Not even I after mean, the first sack, they really game plan. They just <laughs> <laughs> they were just letting him go. There, all there day. Was, you know what? We're not going to change a thing. They told the tackle, "Good luck, buddy. You're on your own." Yeah, that's and fine. Jesse Jesse Fields looked fucking great. He did exactly what he needed to do to win this game. I don't care if the offense doesn't score a touchdown or a point in the game. Um, you won. We don't need the offense right now. We need the defense and the special teams, and that's what fucking happens when you play Steeler football. Defense and special teams is going to win you football games. It took me like seven minutes to figure out who Jussie 
<laughs> I, Fields he was. <laughs> posted on his Twitter, so I knew he was talking about right away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesse and Russie. Yep. What about Russie? Is Russie no longer cooking in Pittsburgh? No, Russ, Russie is taking one for the team. He's getting fully healthy so he can run the full playbook before so, he's again. Say say Steelers start three and Do you do you go with Russ or you leave Justin out there? It's just a hot hand. You, you can interchange him. I'd go both. Both? Well, yeah. Mike Tomlin get, get a little get a little crazy out here. Yeah. We you know how to mind fuck teams, and that's what we're gonna do. Mind fuck them. Mind fuck teams. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. good thing good thing the Steelers aren't starting 3 0 though. Give me the Broncos money line. This is Bo Nick's season. Oh Let's my God. it's time. Anyone it's that. time. It's Bo Nick's time. He's gonna freaking sling the rock, dude. He might as well. I think the Steelers are they're a good team. TJ Watt's a monster, but I get to see Bo Nix winning this game, honestly. So give it to me. Broncos money line. I absolutely hate this line. I hate, hate this line. Um, I'm going to play with some fear and some fun. I'm going to go under the fucking 36 and a half. Like Holy yeah. smokes. No points in this game. We're rooting Ball. for nothing. Defense. A big no. nothing. Is that a no touchdown scored bet? Nail, nil, zero, zero, tied, nothing. You guys both zeros. That's what we're hoping that'd be, for. That'd be awesome. Six, six three game. I'm not I'm not mad at. Six three Broncos. Holy shit. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> you didn't no. you didn't specify. Six three Steelers. Minus two and a half. That's what I'm going with. Steelers are gonna walk out of this walk out of Denver going two and oh, headed back home to the Steel City, ready for prepare for the week three matchup. Um Broncos, I don't know. I don't know what to think of them yet. They're kind of uh I mean their quarterback little... is a one game in and he one thing I do like about Bonex is he's gonna go out there and sling the rock. Yeah. That, that's yeah. what he's going to do. Yeah, he, he is not going to be scared to throw the ball. Like he, he has he's that, like, he, hey, fuck he has that Baker Mayfield vibe where he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to throw the rock, dude. Yeah, you Baker know, Mayfield. If we, if we lose, yeah, we lose. Definitely. If we win, we win. That's what I mean. He's Josh Allen, like dude. Like, yeah. going to go out there and just put on a Whatever show. happens, happens. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Emmanuel Sanders came out and made a hype video for the um, Broncos. So, Steelers. Gonna whoop their ass. Emmanuel Sanders, you mean the former Steeler? Yes, Emmanuel Sanders, I mean the former (laughs) receiver and Steeler. He was on the Broncos too, right? Yeah, he made a high video for the Broncos, so he's he's an enemy now. He's an enemy now. We got Steelers even leaving the game. Holy shit! Tough times in Pittsburgh. Oh, oh Tough shit. times in Pittsburgh. Tough times in Pittsburgh when they're born and raised, drafted, oh, just no. coddled, raised, made elite over there, and then oh, he, no. he dipped the set and dropped, dropped the staple on his chest. Hey, shit. that sounds a real familiar to a team that you might be wearing or might not be wearing. Who? Me? I'm who? not going to confirm nor deny who it is. Who, me? Who are we talking about here? Who, who are we who? talking about here? <laughs> Roman, I'm talking about you and your pick. Uh, I don't know. This is a very hard pick for me, a very hard game. I was contemplating this game this whole time. But no I No one talked to you? The Broncos? No oh, I don't know, dude. This game is so hard for me. I don't. I don't come join like me. It. Come, come join me, Roman. Broncos ben money line. Roman? Yeah, I think I am. Honestly, I think I'm going to go Broncos money line. Let's go. But why are you guys give me three islands? I'm just going to go crazy. Yeah, I'll I'll take the Steelers with Shenny then minus two and a half. No, I, I, no, no. I'm no. not going to let him take three islands in a row, dog. You, That's you, fine. We just split it. That's fine. Are, we just split it. Are, these are three. These are three great islands. No, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm on the Steelers now. Steelers in no, the under. under. Not a good under. I we didn't change games yet. Well, yeah, we did. I heard this, this podcast Chiefs. ain't I over. Bengals Chiefs. This podcast ain't over. We didn't even change games yet. So, Bing Bang yep, Boom. Literally. Steelers bing, bang, under. 
All right, wow. good, Bing, good pick, Bob. Good pick, Bing, Bob. Bing, You're going to go 2-0 I mean, that game. You're going to be happy. <laughs> they were my, my lock last week. Yeah, you're you're hot with them. Uh, me and the Steelers it might be on – Steelers might be on my bandwagon. God. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever whatever gets the W, I don't care. I'll Perfect. admit anything. Perfect. All right, uh, next game we got the Bengals taking on the Chiefs in Kansas City. The Kansas City Chiefs are favored by six points. The over-under is 48 and a half. Since he is plus 225. I saw a weird stat before we get to pick in. The Bengals under Zach Taylor, overall, the first two weeks of the season, they're like 1 and 10. Not They've great. won one game the, in the first two weeks of the season in the last four years. I think that's crazy. That's not good. Not good. And they go into Arrowhead. Which their mayor deemed Burrowhead at one point. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes, there's a small, slight, small rivalry in this game. T. Higgins ain't playing. Jamar Chase crying, food poisoning. Joe Burrow, Slim Shady, where the hell are you at? We don't know. Bengals suck right now. The Chiefs, the Chiefs are the Chiefs. They walked in Thursday night. Not a lot of people thought they could beat the Ravens. Just beat them. Beat them. Bare, bare, quick, easy. Xavier Worthy, beast. He looks beast. insane. Yeah, the, the, the league fucked up. No, the <laughs> Bills crazy. fucked up. The Bills fucked up again. Trading with the Chiefs. First, yeah. you're going to give up Patty Mahomes. How's was Xavier Worley. Whatever. Uh, give me the Bengals to cover. All <laughs> oh, that, shit. All that dumb shit. Give me the Bengals to cover. What's the line? Minus six. Chiefs. It's a lot. That is a lot. Mm, That's a really lot for the, the Chiefs. For the Chiefs for a reason. Give me Chiefs minus six. Um, I don't like how half the Bengals aren't playing. And Joe Burrow looked like shit last week. The blonde hair doesn't fucking go with him. Um, Patty Mahomes minus six. All I got to say. All right. Good pick, Taylor. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Shit. I don't. I think I'm gonna hate this. What's the what's the line again? Six. 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 What's the over under? Forty eight and a half. Yep. All right. Here we go. Feed me the over. Let's get a fucking good game. Joe Burrow, Slim Shady. Let me enjoy the games. That this is, is definitely great, not gonna. This, this that's definitely podcast. not gonna. Definitely not gonna hit. But we'll be here for it. Yeah. No, okay. Feed me the under. Actually, I hope for a shitty game. I hope Chiefs defense is beast. I hope it's cold. I hope the weather. We aren't even checking the weather. It, it almost fucked us last week. We didn't check the weather. I hope it's a weather game. Not checking the under weather. Under 48 and a half. Roman Beautiful. has been sideways for five minutes, so this is great. I don't know what All happened. Right. I don't no, know what happened. Um, we, all, we all pick those? I'll pick those. Monday night game stinks. Yeah, so it's time Monday for the best game. bets. Best bets. Best bets. Best bets? Best bets. Average takes, not so average parlay. Figure out what you're going to do, what you're going to do. Give me the Jets minus three and a half. Yep, I like that. I was looking at it. Give me the Jets minus three and a half. I was looking at a few. Jets minus three and a half. Shivers me timbers. It, it That's too low of a line for the tight ends. They're going to blow them up. Give me fucking the Texans minus six and a half on Sunday night football. We're going to school the Bears. Damn. I hope. Jeez. Give me the Jets minus three and a half. I think they have a comeback game against the Titans. <laughs> Titans <block. Um. laughs> you stole my pick. What? I just picked that three minutes ago. Oh, did you? Fuck. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. You keep it. You keep it. You finish what you're saying. I got another one in the bag. 
<laughs> oh, my bad. I didn't hear you on that part. I was driving. <laughs> Do you want it? Yes or no? No, I told you to keep it. I got another okay, one. Okay, just minus three screen. and a half. Give me it, baby. I changed. Rogers, I changed. I'm changing mine. You can have mine, Bob, if you want it. You can have no, mine. I'm no, I'm no, no, no. Give changing. me the Colts minus three. Colts minus three. Give me my fucking game of the year. Panthers plus five. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Panthers no, plus five. Game of the fucking year. Don't bet year. the best bet. Don't bet the Dude, best bet, son. Are you sure? Yeah, that's a double bet. L. That's going to be a double L for <laughs> Double Shitty. L for you. Don't bet the best double bet. Double L on Shenny's record. Double L on <laughs> Shenny's record. Oh, no. Give me the Raiders a cover nine, cover nine and a half. Yeah, that's the line, right? This, this is a crazy, you know what? If you wanted to skip betting the non so average parlay, sprinkle ahead. money line, sprinkle money line. <laughs> oh, this is fucked. This Fear is the prowl. Fun. Fear the fucking Bro. prowl. Um, we didn't get to talk about it, but to attack it by low, it's got to retire, right? Dude, yes, he got to retire. Yes, at this point, he got to retire. No, he doesn't. What is this? But his fifth that, concussion? No. To argue with uh, okay, um, to argue with the third coach, in the NFL, he had his head down during that play, head down the whole time. Can we can we talk about who late he laid there or who he ran into though? <laughs> Demar. Demar, someone was going down. <laughs> Two had to take the fall. <laughs> Two had to take, take the fall. The <laughs> Too soon. Too soon, son. Too soon. It's, it's like to. it's like uh, what's it called? It's like you know, gulag. You're one on one, dude. Someone's <laughs> someone's not making it. One on one. Demar, I say it. The last I like it. The one who, it, the the one who had five concussions and the one who had five concussions lost. Hate to yep. see it. There's no law on concussions. You can have as many as you want. It's unlimited. No. <laughs> yeah, but your health not. and your life is not unlimited. That, that is up to you. He that is up to you as right a now. as a human being. That is your choice. But PTE right now. You're fine. Definitely I think it. he's fine. I think he's fine. This podcast yeah, is no. getting restricted. No viewers. <laughs> Shane just ruined it. Two, <laughs> two, might well, two of my two of my enjoy CTE ESPN at this point. It's, it's over. He's yeah, he's fine, joining dude. the clan. CTE ESPN. Yeah, literally. No. He's Dolphins quarterback, Miami Dolphins quarterback. I need him back, dude. Tyree's going doo doo. Yeah, he it's done. You don't believe it? You don't believe in Skylar Thompson? Ryan Tannehill. Oh, and I guess that's the show. Nothing wrong with being average. Uh, good luck this podcast. week on your bets. Go Chargers. Later. <laughs>